It's a beautiful day in the Woodlands, right off a of commercial boulevard in Tamarack. The Woodlands community is a dream for many who live here. It's like a mirage. When people enter its lush entrance, travel down the tree-lined boulevard, past the manicured lawns and enter the driveways of the mid-century modern homes, it's beautiful. But it's like a mirage. It's only a vision these days. An unscrupulous developer, 13 floor homes, has proposed to cram 400 homes, many of them two-story zero lot line homes, into the community and increase traffic by 700%. That's right, 700%. In addition to traffic, the community will face total chaos for the next eight years for a company that doesn't even have a site plan submitted. To make matters worse, the course is laden with arsenic. Yes, that arsenic, the one that the American Cancer Society says is carcinogenic to humans. It causes lung cancer and bladder cancer, skin cancer, kidney cancer, liver cancer, and prostate cancer. When the mayor, Michelle Gomez, heard about arsenic, she immediately called 13th Floor and their lawyer, Scott Beckman, and she said to them, any information about arsenic would adversely affect the ability to approve current or future projects like the one in the Woodlands. She did this after discussions with the soon to be fired city manager. New at noon, Tamarack city man manager Mike Cernich is out of a job. Cernich is accused of playing a role in a plot to extort over $3 million from Florida developer. Mayor Gomez initially requested a suspension for the city manager without pay, saying we are all innocent until proven guilty. She was outvoted, though, 4-1. to one. But it was a different story when she came and met with us, the homeowners in the Woodlands. We asked her, what about arsenic? We're concerned. But not Michelle Gomez. This is what she said. Ladies and gentlemen, we were living on a golf course. We've got arsenic in our water anyway. Anybody walks on their grass with their dogs, we got arsenic in there. We've been living there for years like that. We're, we're now going to be excited and upset about it, as has been expressed. If you pick any of those mangoes off of somebody's tree and eat them, guess what? It's already in your fruit, and you're dealing with it anyway. Now it's a big deal. Wow. For the record, Mayor, arsenic is a big deal. Everybody knows it's a deadly poison, a carcinogen of the first order. It's found in golf courses all over Florida because the herbicides which were used to maintain the golf greens, the tees, and the sand traps, it kept the weeds away. And now it's in the soil and the groundwater. Digging up these soils at these golf courses releases arsenic into the air to poison people and make them sick and even kill them. Why would Mir Gomez say this? Is she crazy? Is she corrupt? Who knows? She certainly is cold, cruel, and clueless when it comes to arsenic. She will tell you not to worry about arsenic in our golf course, so that 13th floor can make millions of dollars building homes in the woodlands. That's right, this is what she said. Now it's a big deal? My name's Chris Hodgkins. I live in the woodlands. I'm president of the Woodlands Homeowners Association for Section 4. Join with me and the 1,800 people that signed the petition below that are saying one thing, save the woodlands, protect our community, protect our investment, and say no to 13th floor homes.